All right, guys, we got Hod Rubino from the Devil's Digest, uh, your number one source for Arizona State content. Make sure you check it out. Um, so the reason I got you on, Hod, is to talk about Rob Likens, Arizona State's former office of coordinator. So um, we know he got to Arizona State in 2017. I was wondering how did that process happen, you know, who brought him on staff and things of that nature. Well, actually, uh, Rob Likens did join the Sun Devils in 2016 as a wide receiver passing game coordinator. Uh, he was hired by previous head coach Todd Graham. And uh, that was a pretty rough year for Arizona State offensively. Their starting quarterback, Manny Wilkins, uh, was really hobbled almost uh, from week one and, and then on out, uh, missed a game and a half, if you will, during that season. So that side of the ball was uh was was struggling quite a bit when uh todd graham uh, got fired and herm edwards got hired uh right before the 2017 season athletic director ray anderson wanted to have continuity on offense because the offensive coordinator position was basically a, a re revolving door if if you will at arizona state and uh he wanted herm edwards to basically promote rob likens from wide receivers coach to, to offensive coordinator. Now, I should say that Rob Likens was an offensive coordinator at Kansas in 2015 to 16, so it's not like he didn't have any experience whatsoever. And I know some, uh, some fans uh, weren't too happy about that move because they thought that if you really re uh, creating some kind of revolution, if you will, on Tempe and bringing a head coach like, like Herm Edwards, that maybe uh, you would want to also bring a new offensive coordinator, but uh, for the athletic director, Ray Anderson, it was very important to keep the continuity on offense, and that's how Rob Likens became the offensive coordinator in 20, 2017, a position they also held uh, in 2018 as well. All right, yeah, and with Herm Edwards, I feel like, you know, a lot of energy changed, you know, just from the outside looking in, um, seeing you guys on college football 24-7, um, a big win <laughs> this year, so... Uh, Take us back to this year. What did you think about how you guys did this year? Well, look, I mean, uh, when you prove from uh, seven and five to eight and four, at the end of the day, it's a baby step, but it's a baby step in the right direction. I'm sorry, seven, seven to six to eight and five. I'm sorry. But, uh, and again, it's, it's a very modest improvement, but at the end of the day, at least, you're, at least it is an improvement. At least you're, you're marching in the right direction. I think that Herm Edwards knew, and if the fans knew too, that there had to be a big rebuilding process in, in, in place over here. And Arizona State, uh, both uh, 2019 and 2018, was really relying on a lot of uh, on a, on a lot of young players, if you will. And um, basically, patience patience is a virtue, as you know. And I think the fans. And um, and the the fans and the players themselves know know, know that it's going to be a process. But I, I agree with you that the visibility of the program has improved quite a bit uh, under Herm Edwards. Um, all those years being on ESPN, being one of the most popular football analysts on that network, not only in the last uh, you know decade or so, but maybe even in the history of uh, of that network, uh, definitely definitely helped Arizona State to really get a lot of exposure. Um, they did have some nice results. Um, along the way, I think they, they really beat in a two-year span more top 25 uh, teams than many other coaches in Arizona State's history. So uh, there is uh, some substance to, to, to the hype uh, behind Arizona State. But uh, nonetheless, it's a team that right now I think everybody is expecting uh, to, get, to, to, to get over the hump. And Herm Edwards made some really wholesale changes on, uh, on, on, on the offensive side of the ball which he is hoping that makes uh, 2020 his uh, best, his most successful year to date in Tempe. Okay, and that's kind of where this next question is going to come into play here because, you know, I'm looking at you guys. Um, you finished with a bowl win. You got a young quarterback. And then at the end of the year, like you said, a couple changes happened. One of those changes being Rob Likens being let go. So uh, what happened there? Why was he one of the ones that was let go? Well, I think that uh, Herm Edwards really wasn't happy with the direction that you know, the offense was going. 
And look, I think at the end of the day, maybe you have to put some kind of caveat that you did have a true freshman starting at quarterback in Jaden Daniels, who really put, put put up some great numbers for a true freshman. I think measured very well against other true freshmen around the country playing in the same position. But uh, but Herman Edwards just thought that this offense needed to be needs to be more creative and really need needed to tap into every ounce of talent as a player like as a player that Jaden Daniels has. Somebody that. I think maybe the worst kept secret in SMP is that everybody knows that once he's eligible to enter the NFL draft after the 2021 season, that he, he, he definitely, he, he definitely will do that. And I think Herm Edwards really saw just a small window of opportunity, if you will, to really have this offense, uh, offense be really, 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 really be dynamic. Uh, you know, when, when you look at uh, the, the, the talent that Arizona state had uh, th- this past year uh, and running, running back like, you know, Benjamin who in 2018, Established an, an, an all-time school record uh, for, the, for the rushing yards in, in a single season. Uh, took somewhat of a dip in, in 2019, but still, you know, very, very talented running back. You have a wide receiver like Brandon Ayuk, who anybody that does follow the NFL mock drafts knows that this is a wide receiver that even in a pretty deep wide receiver group in the draft uh, definitely has a good chance of being drafted first round. So Herm Edwards really did not think, in my opinion, that Rob Likens, maximize every ounce of talent that Jaden Daniels and, and the supporting cast did, you know, you know, did have around him. Uh, I mean, not, I don't know if it, you know, puts this uh, dismissal of Likens in a different light, but it should be noted that uh, Charlie Fisher, the wide receivers coach, somebody like us actually brought, brought on with him once he was hired as a, as an offensive coordinator, as well as, as well as that uh, tight, end, <clears throat> tight ends coach, Donnie Antis were also also dismissed uh, as well. So again, I just think that at the end of the 2019 season, uh, Herm Edwards uh, really saw an offense that wasn't being dynamic, wasn't really putting that many points on the board at all, really putting that much more pressure on the defense, which is still right now still fairly young. A lot of underclassmen are really the core of that defense, or at least were, I should say, in 2019. So he just wanted the offense uh, to, 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 to really move in a, in, in a much different direction. And um, Rob Likens just uh, got caught up, if you will, in that philosophy difference. All right, guys, we got Hod Rubino from the Devil's Digest, uh, the publisher of Devil's Digest. So if you're looking for some good Arizona State content, make sure you check out devilsdigest.com. He's on here tonight to talk to us, to tell us, who Rob Likens was and how he was at Arizona State. Um, I'll ask you this, uh, just your personal opinion, um, you watching the games, you following the program, how did you feel Rob Likens did as an office of coordinator? Yeah, I mean, I think everything that I said uh, previously about the the, per- the perception of of, uh, of Herm Edwards of Rob Likens of the SU offense is, is really really my personal opinion too. Okay. Um, I, I just felt that the offense sometimes was uh, was was somewhat bland, uh, wasn't really the, you know that that imaginative. And look, I mean, when you play uh, in a conference like the Pac-12, which I know that a lot of folks in the East Coast and Midwest aren't exposed to a lot, but it's a conference where you just have stellar quarterbacks, stellar skill skill players. On a, on, each of, on each and every team, and it's really, you know, c- comes to a point where we really, we really have to keep, you know, keep up with the Joneses, uh, for the, for lack of a better term, when it comes to offense, when it when it, when it, when it comes to when it comes to really being really being explosive, and if you're playing in a in a conference like the Pac-12, and uh, you are you are not able to score more more than 30 points a game, or at least really darn close to it, then you're really going to have an issue each and every Saturday. Going back to my earlier point, really putting a lot of pressure on a defense which was still was still in the rebuilding mode with a lot, with a lot of underclassmen that, that really really had to carry the load. So so I, I really think that at at some point um, you know the, there was there really was a lot of questionable play, questionable play calling. And look, and I understand that you know on, on, on any given game there's going to be a lot of calls that are going to make 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 you scratch your head. A lot of calls that an offensive coordinator would like to have back, but I just feel that the percentage of those uh, of those calls made by, made by Rob Likens each and every week was uh, a, a little too high to the liking of Herm Edwards and and, and of and of the Sun Devil fan base for the, for that matter. 
I think uh, I think that Ron Vikens is somebody who right now is a wide receivers coach in Miami, or just really wide receiver coach in, in any other Power Five program. Really, 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 really should do a fine job. I just think that you know you just have some coaches out there that just excel more at, at an assistant coach role rather than coordinator, or excel better as a coordinator rather than, rather than a head coach. You see that in the NFL too all the time. So I, I think Rob Likens uh, really has, in my opinion, a much better niche as a, as a wide receivers coach rather than an offensive coordinator out there that that's, uh, that that is calling the plays each and every week. So. Um, you know, the, the, you know the, that's a, that's supposed to be my my, my my perception of Rob Likens. I just really feel that the offense for Arizona State in 2019 wasn't everything that uh, that, 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 that it really could have been. You know, when when you have an eight, eight and five record and your last your last win is at a bowl game against probably the worst Florida State that we're going to see in, in in our lifetime. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's really not indicative of an offense that was really punishing. Uh, opponents, you know, week week in and week out. And again, when you play in a conference like the Pac-12, when you have a subpar offense, you really, really, you know, stick up like a thorn because all your conference foes are teams that, by and large, really have very, very dynamic, very, very imaginative offenses. And you really, at the end of the day, have to have to keep up with them if you want to take that extra step and really contend for a division championship, let alone a conference championship. All right, so you know, like you said, he's going from a offensive coordinator to a wide receivers coach, so that takes away some of the responsibility. He won't be calling plays, um, but I'm interested to see how he'll fit in with this staff. Um, recruiting wise, how would you say uh, he was as a recruiter? Did he get any big time uh, guys at Arizona State, or you know, was he just more of the play caller type of guy? How was his recruiting? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I think as a recruiter, when you're offensive coordinator, you, you usually just uh, concentrate more on the quarterback recruiting. And um, I, I think I think you brought some pretty good quarterbacks in the fold. I think that by and large, uh, of most of the quarterbacks, uh, there were other assistant coaches uh, in, in, in in play that did more of the legwork, at least initially, and then Rob Ikins. Entered, entered the recruiting process, if you will, you know, midway or or, or later or the or, the, or later in the process. Uh, you know, one name that's on the Arizona State assistant coaching staff, a name that might be familiar if you're an NFL NFL fan, on Antonio Pierce, the former linebacker for the for the New York Giants, uh, Super Bowl champion. He is by far the best recruiter that Arizona State has on staff. One of the best recruiters we've ever seen here in Tempe, and he he's the one that really was able to get. Uh, quarterback quarterback Jenny Daniels able to get his backup who transferred since then to Pitt uh, in 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 in, in uh, Joey Yellen. So I think Rob Bikes really had less involvement with those with, with those quarterbacks. And by and large, I mean I don't think that uh, you know I would call him uh, one one of the better recruiters on staff. Again, when you, when you share the same staff with somebody like, somebody like Antonio Pierce as one of the best recruiters. Uh, in in the West Coast and then nationwide, I would put him up probably against any, any recruiter out there as well. Uh, it's really hard to be. It's really I'm sorry, really easy to be overshadowed by uh, by, by a coach like Antonio Pierce when it comes to recruiting. So I, I really really wouldn't call him, you know, to to be uh, one of the better recruiters uh, on, on Arizona State staff. Now going going to a different region of the country altogether. You're going to you're going to University of Miami, which really has which really I think has still a, a very strong brand name. In their in their own neck of the woods, um, I'm really curious to see if he can really elevate uh, his um, his recruiting um, re- results, if you will. But again, I think here at Arizona State, I don't think anybody would consider Rob Lykin, uh to be one of the better recruiters on staff. All right, guys, we got Hod Rabino. Um, Hod, is there anything else you could tell us about Rob Likens that we didn't touch base on? Well, I think that uh, when uh, fans. Uh, Get to know Rob Likens uh, through through media interviews or just even to the maybe reporters uh, that cover University of Miami listening to this podcast right now. I think that uh, you're really going to find an extremely nice guy, really really personable. Uh, I think that uh, a coach that doesn't uh, shy away from giving uh, the, the harsh reality, which uh, you know uh, some some is obviously. May not that be uh, you know easy easy to easy to digest or easy easy to deal with, 
But uh, but I think that um, I, I have no doubt that if that the fans are going to watch uh, interviews for the, for the next few years of Rob Likens addressing the University of Miami uh, media, I think they're going to find somebody extremely nice, extremely extre- extremely personable. Uh, he'll, he'll he'll joke about how many uh, cups of coffees and Red Bulls uh, he mm-hmm. chugs down on each and every day, and it's and it's double that amount on game day <laughs> sometimes. So uh, you know, re- re- really, really an, an, an energetic guy. I think that uh, anybody that would come to any given University of Miami practices, if those are open to the public, uh, it's not going to be hard at all to spot and hear somebody like Rob Likens because uh, he's really the the life of the party. Uh, if 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 he will practice, and I expect him to uh, motivate. The wide, the wide receiver core uh, for, for the Hurricanes, uh, you know, quite a, quite a bit. So uh, he's, he's, a, he's a bit of a character, but a, but a, but a character in a, a character in a good way. So I think uh, that's uh, some of the early impressions that the uh, U the U fans can expect from uh, Rob Likens uh, in twenty twenty. All right, is he the is he that same way on game day as well? Uh, you know, very energetic on the sideline. I like those type of coaches that. You know that are you know jumping up and down with the players and stuff. Is, is that is that how he is on game day as well? Well, the thing is, like uh, as an offensive coordinator, he, he, he really is up up there in the booth, and uh, okay. uh, I know I don't remember the TV cameras uh, focusing on him and his mannerism uh, during during the, any given game. So I really, I really can't answer that much uh, about what happens what happens on game day. But at practice, absolutely, he's, he's running he's running around. He, he's, he's hollering. Again, I mean those uh, those those Red, Red Bulls and uh, cups of coffee uh, really uh, do uh, do 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 help him quite a uh, quite a quite a bit over here. But again, but being in the booth, it's really it's really uh, you know hard hard to say unless there's some video to know how, uh, how how animated he is or not. I'm sure he's very energetic on the, on the, uh, when he's on the headphones as well. All right, so this is awesome, guys. We got Hod Rubino from the Devil's Digest. Um, you can find him on Twitter at, at Devil's digest uh hot go ahead and tell the people listening what you got going on uh right now at the devil's digest sure well uh well we have uh when we look at football uh arizona state uh maybe like unlike some other programs around the country actually starts spring practice uh pretty pretty early in the year over here it starts on february 24th so we're going to start uh ramping up our our spring practice preview preview articles uh, for the Sun Devils, um, you know, this is again a program that's uh, still uh, you know, very young in terms of its uh, in terms of its core players, in terms of the impactful players, and we're just going to go position by position and really uh, just tell the fans what uh, they, they, should, they should be looking forward to. The spring practice is actually going to be nine newcomers who are really already enrolled in the state, and uh, we're going to talk about what kind of impact you can expect uh, from that group. Um, I know that uh, ever since the early signing period, uh, the February signing day has been pretty anticlimactic. Uh, Arizona State is going to have some additions uh, for that uh, this coming Wednesday, so we'll definitely discuss that. And uh, obviously, uh, college basketball is uh, in full swing uh, over here, and uh, Arizona State entering a really critical stretch uh, and an impactful play. So we're there with the uh, with the pregame, in-game, and post-game coverage uh, each each and every each and every week. And um, even Arizona State baseball, I think, uh, generating a lot of buzz. Uh, some publications have them uh, as high as number three in the, in the preseason poll. So uh, we're uh, definitely going to start coverage. Uh, well, we continue coverage, I should say, of Arizona State uh, baseball as the season begins um, over here in mid in mid in mid February. So really, uh, it's uh, really j- going to be a jam packed uh, uh, next next weeks over here for anybody that's looking for Arizona State coverage on DoubleSideJust.com. All right, and Hot, I got uh, one more question for you. If you can answer this, um, it popped in my head. Um, so, sure. um, Nikhil Herring, who got drafted by the Patriots, he came from Arizona State, and then you you guys have another receiver. You mentioned him early, Brandon. I don't want to say his last name and uh, disrespect the man. Uh, Ayuk. Ayuk. Okay, yeah. Brandon Ayuk. Um, yes. Yeah. Look like he's going to be drafted in the. Um, one of the first receivers gone um, mm-hmm. in this upcoming draft. If you can answer this, how much credit do you give Rob Likens in either the development or the recruitment or them getting to the NFL? How much credit do you does that go to Rob Likens in your opinion? Well, look, I think it would be extremely harsh to say that guys like Nikhil Herr and Brennan Ayuk 
succeeded at Arizona State despite Rob, Rob Likens. Rob Likens did get to coach uh, Nikhil Harry as a position coach in, in his freshman year, and then when he moved up uh, to the booth, so to speak, as an offensive coordinator, it was Char- it, it was Charlie Fisher who was a, who was a wide receivers coach both both for, both for Nikhil Harry in his last two years at Arizona State. Same with Brandon Ayuk, who was a junior college transfer, so his two years at Arizona State were, were also under, uh, under under Charlie Fisher. But look, I mean, as an offensive coordinator, especially when you deal with your star players and Harry and Ayuk, you, you you definitely have some kind of some kind of imprint. You definitely have some kind of influence on uh, on what they do on, on, on any given Saturday. So I, I think that I think that in that sense that uh, that uh, Rob Likens was that you know was definitely uh, somebody that did have uh, po- some positive impact, positive influence on, the, on those two players. I really think that Rob Likens was really more of a wide receivers coach, really in nature, rather than being an offensive coordinator or, mm. or, or really be offensive coordinator that usually is supposed to be the quarterback whisperer, uh, if, if you will. I think that Rob Likens' wheelhouse is much more geared towards developing what the developing wide receivers. So again, I think that uh, Rob Likens definitely should take some credit to the success that Nikhil Harry and, and Brennan Brandon Ayuk had. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Rob Likens uh, is able to produce the next few years a re- really good wide receiver uh, for, the, for the Hurricanes that gets uh, ended up by uh, uh, being, being drafted in the first in the first or second round in in, in, in upcoming NFL drafts. Because I think as a wide receivers coach, he, 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 he actually is a, a really, really fine position coach in that vein. Uh, you know, again, so things did not work out as an offensive coordinator at, at Arizona State, but I think Miami, uh, if they're going to bring somebody like Rob Likens on board, we're very, very wise to bring him on as a wide receiver. Coach. All right. Hey, Hod, man, I really appreciate you taking time out of your day, coming on the show, educating us, and giving your opinion on Rob Likens uh, as our head coach. Guys, please do me a favor. Uh, check out Hod Rubino, Devil's Digest, and also check him out on Twitter, at the Devil's Digest, or just, it's just at devil's digest so check them out hot man i appreciate you so much my friend thanks a lot grant have a good night hey you too thank you brother